open for a limited time. Tickets are available at beyondvangooc.com. Beyond Van Gogh. Tahin chamoy sauce. Impossible to describe. Delicious to enjoy. Tahin it. If you have postmenopausal osteoporosis and a high risk for fracture, now might not be the best time to ask yourself, are my bones strong? Life's full of make or break moments. That's why it's so important to help reduce your risk of fracture with Prolia. Only Prolia is proven to help strengthen and protect bones from fracture with one shot every six months. Do not take Prolia if you have low blood calcium, are pregnant, are allergic to it, or take Exgeva. Serious allergic reactions like low blood pressure, trouble breathing, throat tightness, face, lip, or tongue swelling, rash, itching, or hives have happened. Tell your doctor about dental problems as severe jaw bone problems may happen or new or unusual pain in your hip, groin, or thigh as unusual thigh bone fractures have occurred. Speak to your doctor before stopping, skipping, or delaying Prolia as spine and other bone fractures have occurred. Prolia can cause serious side effects like low blood calcium, serious infections, which could need hospitalization skin problems, and severe bone, joint, or muscle pain. Don't wait for a break. Call your doctor now and ask how Prolia can help you. Beyond Van Gogh. The immersive experience. Now open for a limited time. Tickets are available at beyondvangooc.com. Beyond Van Gogh. Wondering about the big game? Ask Charlie. Well, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's whether or not you beat the spread. Charlie's got all the answers. Week next at 7.30 on KTLA 5. The Emmy for Best Evening Newscast. KTLA 5 News at 10. Now at 6, a devastating house fire claims the life of a toddler and leaves seven others injured. For the brave actions of first responders who risk their lives to save others still trapped inside, we're live with the latest. And a road rage incident ends in tragedy. An expected mother and her unborn baby are killed by a driver under the influence. We'll have the latest on the investigation. And that Dixie fire continues to rage tonight in Northern California. It has now become the second largest wildfire in state history. The KTLA 5 News at 6 starts right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 6. I'm Rick Chamber. And hi, I'm Courtney Friel. We begin with developing news in Moreno Valley, where a house fire has claimed the life of a toddler and left seven other people injured. Four sheriff's deputies are among those that got hurt after they arrived there on the scene and then worked to save many of the victims from the flames. John Fanilio is live in Moreno Valley now with the latest for us. John? Yeah, Gordon Rick, such a sad story. If you look over here, you can see the home has doors and windows boarded up in the front yard, toys and a swing. And now on the front sidewalk, flowers and teddy bears for a young child who did not survive. A Riverside County Sheriff's deputy is rushed to the hospital after attempting to rescue people trapped inside a house fire in Moreno Valley. Neighbors say the family was asleep when the fire broke out, including 22-month-old Joshua, who became trapped. He, he, was a, he was a nice boy. He was a very, you know, a, a, a toddler. He was laughing and, yeah, they, they, they were happy to have him all the time. He was a cute little baby. Deputies were first to arrive at the single-story home on the 24,300 block of Dolan Drive around 1.30 Sunday morning. They encountered heavy flames as they entered the house to search for victims. Officials say deputies pulled two people out, but the heavy smoke and heat prevented them from going back in. Fire officials say four people inside the home were hospitalized in critical condition. Despite their best efforts, rescuers were unable to find young Joshua in time, and he later died. There was a fire in the back bedroom area. Uh, that's where both firefighters focused most of their, um, their efforts in that portion of it, and also, also uh, rescuing the patient. Four Riverside County Sheriff's deputies were also hospitalized with non-critical injuries. A GoFundMe account has been set up to pay for funeral costs and other expenses for this family following the loss of young Joshua. You can find a link to it on our website, ktla.com. For now, reporting live in Moreno Valley, I'm John Fenolio, KTLA 5 News. John, thank you. There's also developing news in Bell Gardens where a homicide investigation is underway.